Hey peeps, Donna here, also known as Schwig, day 29 of hashtag Operation Lowest Weight and of the Deeper State Keto Program. I did my week in review a little earlier today, but it's just before bedtime, my day is finished, and I thought I would just shoot out a daily um, video. So, today, had a good day. Um, I started it out the same way I start out every single day. Uh, with my bulletproof coffee and my um, what I have this morning I think I had eggs and cheese yeah yeah anyways I um, was home uh, for my lunch and then for dinner and my snack tonight I went I was at the movies so I just kind of combined it all into one meal um, it took me a while to eat it but yeah is that bad you know on the deeper state keto program they don't tell you how many times to eat they don't tell you you have to eat four meals a day or three meals a day i don't know why i started eating four meals a day it's just how i broke up my calories i think probably because in my fitness pal it was already set out as four meals a day so that's kind of what i did so i did my um my breakfast and lunch and then dinner was at the movie theater I think all I had was <laughs> uh, an ounce of cheese uh, some uh, pork rinds and some dip zero carb dip so and then I also took my my delicious pudding the stuff I've been having every day because I just love it so much um, I need to order some more ghee <laughs> so tasty so that was pretty much my day but what do you guys think about eating like well it's still considered only three meals but that was a lot of calories in one go it took me a good I don't know probably well realistically it took me half an hour 45 minutes to eat that all of that everything all of it um, and there was probably seven seven or eight hundred calories there could have even been more I should look but how do you guys um, do your meals do you do you do three meals a day do you do four meals a day do you eat every two hours do you snack all day long I'm curious what do you guys do let me know below so another thing I did today was outed myself on Facebook um, I haven't told all of my family and friends about my YouTube channel and that is what I did today so if you guys are all watching this be gentle be nice <laughs> This is my vulnerable space. This is where I come and just air everything. If I'm having a problem, I air it. If I, if I um, need advice, I ask for it here. Um, so just be nice, please. <laughs> so it was a pretty big step for me to do that. Um, There's, there's a comfort level in knowing that you're not just going to run into people on the street that know your whole story. Um, and to be able to talk to people and not, not necessarily really know them, if, if you know where I'm getting at. But to let everybody know who sees me on a regular basis and, um, and they know what I'm going through. I don't know I think maybe it could only benefit me in the long run I've never tried to really truly hide anything from anyone I just haven't been totally forthcoming with everyone about my surgery mind you those people who ask I tell them I, I tell them whatever it is they want to know um, but I think I think the comfort level I have in coming here and talking to you guys is that it started out as all people from the bariatric community so these you people were all people that could relate to what I was going through I could relate to what you were going through and now I'm letting in all kinds of people who haven't been there who don't know what it's like 
don't know about like all the little the little things like what it's like to feel full and like it's and and you can't compare it to pre-op you can't compare it to to what a normal person feels anymore and you can't explain to a normal person when I say normal person I mean someone who's got a normal tummy um, what it feels like it's just so completely different than anything else ever so that's just like one a little example but like some of the emotional head games that go on um, it's really hard to to get somebody to understand what it's like um, when they haven't been there so opening up my channel was a big big step for me and um, yeah I just only hope everybody can be nice about it <laughs> but if you are one of my friends one of my family members um, if you want to leave comments below I will still get back to you the same way I get back to everybody else yeah be nice keeping this one real real short and sweet um, so if you're new to my channel hey and if you're returning to my channel Thank you so much. Love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you haven't already, go down here and push subscribe. Hit the bell and uh, you'll get notifications for whenever I upload a mo uh, video. A movie. <laughs> uh, and for those of you that don't already know, after my video, I put on... I include my Insta stories so that those of you who don't follow me on Instagram can see the Insta stories here. It also details my... Um, my food throughout the day quite a bit better than what I just told you. So I hope you guys all have a really great night and see you tomorrow. Peace out peeps. It's hump day, another morning, another breakfast. Here we go. Having eggs and bulletproof coffee with a scoop of the nectar cappuccino, Syntrax nectar cappuccino protein. So what do you guys think of this? It's, it's a couple of NSVs for me. Number one, Going to a store and hanging out in the regular um, clothing area, okay, just gives me an, gives me a lot of anxiety. But I was also able to buy this dress, second NSV. I don't think I've ever. I haven't bought myself a dress in 25 years. Easy, 20, probably longer than that. Um, the other thing is, it was only six bucks. So this is a dress I'm going to take to Mexico with me next month. But what do you think? Just curious. I know, I still got stuff to have, you know, lose here, but you know, it'll happen. BSK all the way! Oh man, this is a large lunch for me today. They've got two and a half ounces of pork tenderloin, a tablespoon of mayo, two ounces of ch sharp cheddar cheese, two macro muffins, and a super large pickle. Hey peeps, I'm just waiting for a friend at an appointment, and I just thought I'd get on here and see what you guys think about electrolytes. So I've got this electrolyte, it's new to me, it's called Ultima Replenisher. It's really tasty. It's got really good stats because it's got zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar. Fits right in with my keto lifestyle. And, um, but yeah, can you see that? I kind of overexposed, eh? There we go. This is lemon. It also comes in, or I've had raspberry and grape. I think there's an orange one. And I don't know if there's any other flavors after that, but. What do you guys think of this? What do you think of this? What do you think of, what kind of uh, re electrolytes do you guys use? Just curious. Would love to know. Hey peeps, I'm heading to the movies with my mama and I am taking my dinner and my snack with me. So here it is. For dinner, I'm having pork rinds with a little bit of dip, zero carb dip. And I'm also having an ounce of cheese. And then for my snack, I'm having some of my butterscotch pudding.
Hey peeps, I went to the movies with my mom and came home and had some energy, so I made myself an egg loaf. Here it is, and I am going to let it cool tonight because it's already 11 o'clock at night, and I will have, hopefully, French this toast. This stuff smells delicious. Mmm, I am so looking forward to slicing it up and making French toast in the morning. <laughs> oh man, this is a large lunch for me today. They've got two and a half ounces of pork tenderloin, a tablespoon of mayo, two ounces of ch sharp cheddar cheese, two macro muffins, and a super large pickle.